Okay, for everybody just now tuning in, this is Roy Doyle, and uh, I'm with the Arkansas Showcase Radio.com, and we've got John and Aaron here with the Sound of Fury. What a band! What <laughs> can I tell you? And uh, they're going to tell us all about what they got in store uh, for you guys out there. And if you get a chance to be one of their concerts, you better get out there and get to it because they'll be sold out, and you'll be screwed. So, what's up, Aaron and John? How you guys doing? Doing great. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for having us on. Bet. So what is y'all's schedule looking like? Are y'all going to be playing, um, what, the next couple of weeks, months, years, for eternity? <laughs> so we do have a show. The closest right now we're getting to Arkansas is Pittsburgh, Kansas, uh, down on June 8th. That's a – Pitt State's have been a hotbed college town for us for a long time. And uh, we got a big showcase playing down there, a festival, right, John? What What yep. is it, John? What are we doing? Yeah, we're playing a festival June 8th. It's a Saturday. We're playing around, I don't know, 7 p.m., uh, something like that. And but, Melissa said perfect. we got we got to talk about you guys came out in 2000, I mean, 1998, and now you're coming out with a new version of yourself. So what do people have to expect with this new version, and why, why did you wait so long to come out again? I've been asking myself that question. Why did it take so long, you know? <laughs> Just for new women? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was. <laughs> Let the next generation come in. Well, you know, you mentioned the next generation. That was part of it. Uh, we uh, we took a hiatus there for about 18 years, and we all started families and had kids. And our kids kind of inspired us to pick up where we left off, and we reconnected. You didn't want to be around them anymore. <laughs> it's like I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm going on the road, baby. <laughs> <laughs> So now with our kids involved, we got my son, Drake. He's uh, 17, and he's playing guitar with us, and he's performing with us, writing songs. He's been recording in the studio with us. So that was a big inspiration for us to get back together, and that kind of – that was kind of like the uh, the spark we all needed. We reconnected, and now with this new music we've created, we got a new album, Memento More, uh, that we – I think – John Floyd, remind me, what is it? Next weekend, the all the all the singles have been released, but we're going to release them as a full package on our EP next week. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. A uh, week from uh, what would that be? The seventeenth. <laughs> They're going. <laughs> you know, who are we? I don't know where I'm. <laughs> you can look at John. He goes, "Screw that! I'm here for the new groupies." <laughs> I want them. <laughs> so if That's someone wanted to hear y'all's music right now, what's the best way for them to find y'all, see your schedule, listen to some of your music? Where can people actually find y'all right now? We are on all the streaming services. If they go to any streaming service and search The Sound of the Fury, there's a decent chance they're going to find us. Uh, there are some other artists with a similar name or the same name that make different types of music. So we've been telling people just to Google the name of the band and put, like, rock band after the Sound of the Fury. Yeah, because some of those other bands totally suck. They're, they're yeah, you got it. Stuff. I'm like, what the hell? This can't be them. They're cramping our style. <laughs> they're terrible. <laughs> now, now there's a rumor that after this quick little you know, album comes out that y'all are going to switch over to, like, you know, gangster rap. Is that is that correct? Mm -hmm. John looks like he can be a gangster rapper right there. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to be a street name. Ice tea over here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love them rumors. I would, uh, somebody needs to keep them rumors alive for us. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, yeah, I'll, I'll come up with a street name. I have no problem with it. So how many shows you got coming up this year? You know, we don't have very many shows because we actually are spread out, you know, throughout the Midwest right now. We got uh, one of our members is down in San Antonio. His life got him moved down there. So we're looking to book some more shows in the Kansas City area, looking to move uh, move up to Omaha. We'd love to come down there to Arkansas. I, we were talking before we were online. You said Juanita's is gone. What's the hot What's the hot place down there? Well, my house. <laughs> <laughs> in my backyard out here, man. <laughs> we get some burgers on the grill, and man, well, can we have a concert? <laughs> Hell yeah, let's let's talk, let's talk. Yeah, but Little Rock used to be a, a good place. I remember a band called Haphazard we played with down there years ago. Yep. They, it was a good college place for us, and we we uh, are working with some booking agencies to hope to be down there soon in the near future. Right now, we've been promoting ourselves online, releasing this EP. 
with uh, Memento Mori coming out. We've got uh, six songs on that. We've got more songs we're looking to record, put out. But, you know, the music industry's changed. It's, it used to be we jumped in a van and we traveled coast to coast. And now with streaming and with social media, we're finding that it's a whole nother world out there. And we are old men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like he, you gotta, you gotta like he's it. a TikTok guy. He looks like he's a TikTok dancer right there. I know all the dances. <laughs> <laughs> as long as they involve me sitting down, that's all. Hey, that so, do you guys have a web page that people could uh, look you up on? So we do have the soundofthefury dot com, but it's. it's still being rebuilt for us. So we've been really heavily using our social medias through Facebook, Instagram, John Floyd, you know, all them handles. I don't know because I'm not plugged in. I don't know what's we, going on. We've got a real simple, uh, a link tree that we have set up that has links to all of our different video footage, concert stuff, uh, show information, uh, social media stuff. And that's just linktree.com slash TSATF band. Or do you want to just like, have Aaron's home address and his home phone number put out there? You want to do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Here's but we actually – Go we ahead, know sorry. Some people at, at, at the casino, Oakland, here in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll, put a, we'll give you a link out there to see if you can get in touch with them. And then, of course, um, we got another casino that's opened up pretty recently. They have a lot of live music out yeah, there. Yeah, because Saracen Casino down in Pine Bluff, they're, they're going to start having – they're building a whole – a concert arena and so they're going to be just starting out and you can get on the ground floor of that uh so they're going to start that i think in about three months they'll have that all up and running they're in construction right now yeah let us know guys we played a casino down in pittsburgh as a reunion show last year may and it was their fastest selling tickets they had of all their artists and I mean, we we sold that show out as a as the headliner because that was always a hotbed for us. So we the casino route seems to be what people are doing these days because a lot of the small clubs don't exist anymore. Yeah, yeah we, we do a lot. We do a lot of that info. Yeah, we do a yeah. lot of the interviews down there, like we did uh, uh, the Commodores and stuff like that. And they love being down in Oakland. Yeah. Hey, one thing we do want to mention too is that we got a YouTube page and we're dropping a new vi music video. Uh, we was it tomorrow, John Floyd? Is that right? Tomorrow at noon, tomorrow at noon central, uh, on YouTube. Yeah, we uh, we worked with a guy who comes from uh, the graphic arts world, Kevin Mellon. He worked with uh, oh man, what was it, John Floyd? What do you work with? He Archer, with Archer. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, so is it going to be animated? Well, they got to make us look good somehow, but no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's not animated. Watch. Go ahead. Let me pressure on you. We're going to watch it. We're going to plaster yeah. it everywhere. Awesome. Alpha and Omega music video comes out tomorrow, so we're pretty proud of it. It's a, it's a odd to see yourself on there, but my son's in it too. John Floyd looks kick-ass playing drums like an Amish drummer back there, so it's pretty cool. So John doesn't, well, many, have, John doesn't have any frontal nudity because we can't have that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> So, how many people's in the band? Uh, five of us. So, just five, got the yeah. one in San Antonio? One guy in San Antonio. The rest of us is my son and I, John Floyd, and our bass player, Jay Casson. He, and we're all spread out through the uh, Kansas City metro area, except for Jeff Wood. He's down there in San Antonio. We're begging yeah, him to move back. Him. We'll replace him, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> Have you heard that boy sing? Come on now. <laughs> so, who writes all your songs? Uh, it's a collaborative effort. Jeff is all, always writing the lyrics and the melody uh, for the vocals, and he contributes some songs as well. Uh, Alpha and Omega was actually one that Jeff wrote, and we uh, went in the studio. And I can tell, I'll tell you guys that uh, Alpha and Omega, or this album, Momentum More, Alpha and Omega on it, plus many others, we recorded that live in the studio. So when you guys listen to that song, that is the band live. We didn't do any studio magic to. Uh, to like cut and paste things together it's we were at john floyd drake jay casson myself we're all in the same room recording we flew jeff in later and had him uh do the the vocals later but the music itself is a live recording of us in the studio and the whole album was done that way so we're pretty proud of it wow so what well, what's your plans for the future are you, are you trying to uh uh change anything or 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 what are you trying to do well if i don't win the lottery which isn't looking good for me. 
<laughs> I think being in a band is about like trying to play the lottery. So what we'd like to do is, is return to the days where this was our full-time career. And we feel very strongly about this music that it's our best chance to get there. Jeff being the great singer that he is, John Floyd is probably in my opinion, the best drummer we got in Kansas city. So back that we got, the guys that went to, well, just out of high school, we get, we formed together, toured the, the United States for years, and now took some time off to to have a family. Now that we're back, I think that you you give us to the end of the year this time next year, and you're going to see some some big news from the Sound of Fury. We I know the the music scene's different for us, but we're we're bound to determine to shoehorn our way back in to kick off some of the those major names. You're not seeing any any mid-level bands it's like either they're that the small bands exist still but they don't have the venues to play and then there's just those big names you know every, every artist out there that's touring has been around for 20 years and yeah. i guess that that would mean that's us like, too that's like the bands here in arkansas we always like to say we got the best music that nobody's ever going to hear <laughs> we, we got some great bands here but you know arkansas is kind of like a, a dead zone you know you're not going anywhere in arkansas well, you know, we had the same thing in Kansas City. We had to leave Kansas City, so that way we got the respect from Kansas City. So all those years ago when we started touring, that's when our when we came back home, that's when we started getting more and more respect. So that's what we uh, – we don't know any way to do it but the old school way, man. So we're trying to learn this new school way with social media. So now you guys all have families, both you and, and John? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, how many, John, how many kids you got? I have two, two sons. That you know of. <laughs> that I'm aware of. <laughs> okay, Aaron, how about you? I got four kids and a grandson. Holy shit, you're pretty damn old. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I tell you, I mean, it, it's music, I tell people around here, music is one of the toughest industries to get in on because there's just so many people on it. There's so many different avenues you can take. I mean, you got TikTok, you've got, you know, uh, all these different internet uh, ways you can sell your music. Is that what you guys do? That's how you sell most of your music? Yeah, John Floyd, hit, hit us up with that. What do we do? It's just a whole different world. It's it's uploading files, you know, to a, a service that distributes your music across all the different streaming platforms. And so the, the days of, you know, uh, 20 years ago or so of like getting in touch with a manufacturer for compact discs or you know cassette tapes or whatever um I, it still exists but it's just such a different playing ground now uh you know just uh, how, how how to get music out in front of people and the, the best way that we've found to do it is just to you know make the music get it out for people to listen to and then just try to um you know, share it as much as possible on social media. And, and so far it's been pretty successful. We, we've gotten a lot of positive feedback doing that. Our music wasn't available on streaming services, the old albums, uh, until just about a year ago. And, and just getting those out for people to listen to, um, you know, it helped us a lot in terms of uh, uh, reigniting a fan base that uh, was wondering what happened to the band. And uh, also set us up really nicely to start releasing new music and making sure we were getting in front of the right people and uh, making sure it reaches far and wide. Well, I tell you, uh, I got to give props to Melissa because when she told me about you guys, I started listening to your music. Fantastic, man. I mean, really fantastic. And I was so happy because I can play some of your songs. <laughs> and that made me feel so happy. But I mean, I love your music and I can't wait to see you guys. And hopefully you can come down here. And but like like I said, Jeff's going to send you some links to some of the casinos here, uh, yeah. so you can contact them and hook up some benefits. And then you can go down and buy us free booze. I mean, that's, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, I want to thank y'all because uh, Melissa said to keep it short because you guys got your very busy schedule. But Aaron and John, thank you so much. I know John's got to get back to groupies and everything. So. <laughs> You all take care, and we wish you all the very best. And everybody out there, Arkansas Showcase Radio.com, stay tuned because the Sound and the Fury is an upcoming group that's going to blow your socks off. So if you can get a chance to see them, go out and see them. 
and you will not definitely be disappointed. So Aaron and John, you all take care. You be safe. And we look forward to seeing you. And I might be up in Kansas City. I might even look you up. Yeah, let's uh, go to a cheap game. Yeah, you <laughs> you're paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys take care. Bye-bye.